Well, uh, people, sometimes they find it funny that you can't uh, record in a house, but what it comes down to is we need, we need permission before you do it. Uh, reason being is that there might be things in the house that they don't want uh, anyone else seeing. You know, you're going to see it in person, but, um, and oftentimes I have sellers order, they'll say, okay, make sure they don't take a picture of this, whether it's a gun safe, whether it's a family heirloom. Uh, there's reasons why they just don't want that being out there for people to see. Um, and then the other is just privacy issues. Uh, a lot of us have 20 to 30 photos per house uh, that we have on the, on the MLS for you to view. That should be, that should be enough. Um, and again, you know, people look at it like, are they casing the house? Are they you know, recording things so that that way someone can come break in later, steal things? Luckily, we don't have uh, an issue like that here. It has happened in larger markets, but there are so many privacy concerns that if you do intend to record a video for maybe someone that's not there, we just need to let them know ahead of time that it's gonna be a virtual showing or that there's gonna be recording taking place and get permission back from that listing agent before we do it.